This is Anila from Nagarjuna Degree College. So this video only is about cookies. So it's not eating cookies. It's all about the HTTP cookies that normally we use when we are browsing in our web browsers. So let's see what we have in a video. Just follow us. So it's not a sweet ordinary cookies. So that you are seeing here. It's all about and we are talking about the website cookies. So finally, we call it as our internet cookies and also HTTP cookies. And uh, here, when come to cookies, maybe you guys have experienced while logging into any emails or any social media accounts through internet while using the in laptops or mobiles. So at the time it will ask whether you whether it has to save the passwords which you are logging in. It may be username, it may be your login IDs or passwords, anything that can be saved. So when you will allow, so what it happens actually when you allow or when you click on allow, so automatically what you are doing or what you are browsing in a web browser, so everything will be saved in a place. So that normally you can see in a web browsers. So here actually I'm using the Google Chrome that is my default browser that I will be using every time so here when you go to a settings so here will be having option called at the end of uh, privacy and security so here we will be having a site settings so if you click on site settings so you will get uh, one pop-up uh, screen called all sites so they will be having option called permissions so under permissions we have cookies and site data so there all the data will be saved so what you will be doing cookies or small files which are stored on a user's computers they are designed to hold a modest amount of data specific to a particular client and website and can be accused and accused either by the web server assist either by the web server or the client computer this allows the server to deliver a page tailored to a particular user on the page itself can contain some script which is aware of the data in the cookie and so is able to carry information from one visit to the website to the next uh, and also it helps to track users browsing activity helps to make service and sales it remembering login details such as just now I told you so when you try to log in for social media or any your Gmail account so automatically it will ask whether the passwords and user ID has to save or not so same thing that you guys have maybe experienced while uh, logging into Facebook Google uh, YouTube or any Amazon etc etc and also it also tracks site visitors count because uh, each cookies have its own unique IDs so user visits um, websites wise uh, ties in a tie a cookies can allows to calculate this as one website owners can collect more accurate data on website tracks because of these cookies because it will be saved each and everything and it will be tracked everything what will be doing while using internet in a web browsers that is a very very important one and uh, even we'll be having one more thing what is that actually uh, when you visit your website first time the website put a cookie in your hard drive which have unique id code that site uses ids to track all your activity of each sessions from start to end it tracks items in shopping cart while you're using any flip cards or amazon so they will be having option called sh uh, shopping cart so the product which you will be uh, preferring or you'll be searching in uh, e-commerce e applications so when you like something definitely you'll uh, uh, what is that you'll, you'll uh, like that products and you'll try to purchase that and you'll put that products in your shopping cart and uh, which items you looked at more times every time you'll be looking and you'll be searching for the same type of products it may be any uh, wristwatch or electronic gadgets or it may be uh, clothes uh, peripherals it can be anything and uh, sometimes even you'll be having a uh, few coupon codes even that will be saved and uh, have many more functions uh, so because of these cookies that's a, a good advantages actually that we have uh, yeah that's a really right one actually uh, but you can think that what is that so when cookies will be doing all these things like it's all about automation 
it will working like same like artificial intelligence based upon the uh, preference of customers their wants their needs what will be searching always in our uh, web servers so now uh, we can think that then who brought this cookies who invented who created actually that is a very important one so the, here we have a origin actually these cookies as came into the world in the year of 1994 by the person is a very important person actually he was a person we can call him a web browser programmer liu montoli so he in a 1994 actually he was a employer in netscape communication at that time so because of him netscape communicators uh, communications have improved a lot and they brought these cookies and they got huge collections and huge name huge good will because of him that's a very news one so you can see here uh, here we have a netscape communicator uh, corporations what we have here so here we have all information about netscape so this is one where he worked so then um, now when come to cookies uh, i told you what is that so uh, cookies will uh, track your actions what you'll be doing in web browsers and uh, what you'll do shopping it may be uh, your shopping cart or products which you're searching and your logging details uh, each and everything will be uh, it will be stored so you can think uh, when cookies are saving each and everything there so can it be it will be misused by some people by hacking or vulnerable things that can be done uh, yes that can be done but uh, everything will be having both positive and negative points so even it has positive and negative points uh, so now let's see uh, what is the different types of cookies that we have so now first uh, when come to our types so first we actually we have about session cookie what is this session cookie it's a very important one actually session cookie is nothing it's a very simple so while uh, you start using web browsers and when we when you allow or when you go to any websites so there it starts once you open up any google or any browsers so automatically google or oh, sorry cookies starts working at the time so after browsing everything so what and all you have done in a web browsers it may be you have visited more many uh, websites or you have visited or you have uh, what is that browsed and you have been there almost for one hour or two or three hours in the same website so it can be anything everything will be saved in a cookies so now so after using your websites or browsing everything in a web browser so when you log out or when you come out from web browsers so at that time cookies what it has stored till when you are using so after logging out automatically it will get delete everything so for that we got a session cookies so it's all depends upon a session so when you log in and when you log out between these two what you will do everything will be saved but once you log out so that automatically will be deleted so that you can make a settings in a web browsers that i will show you how to make that so next type of uh, cookies that we have about persistence cookie so persistence cookie is a very very simple that many times i have told you so when you are logging to any website so it will ask you to give your user id and password so here you can see that so here we have user id and passwords and login and register so when you are making a sign up so you will be giving a uh, first name second name your date of birth so even those information will be recorded and saved in a cookies so that the reason when you are logging in for first time in a new website so definitely it will ask username and password but in the same website when you are logging for second time or third time so definitely it won't ask your username so automatically it will be stored it will ask only passwords to enter and a login that's it so it's a very simple thing so cookies help you to make very easy to log in to the website so this is one of the benefit actually we have but even we have negative point also so someone uh, can hack or someone can uh, take your information uh, that that may be your username that may be your password that may be your basic details so even that we have so but it's all depend upon the mindset of a people so that's what uh, so what we are saving here it may be user name passwords so that will be called as a persistent cookie then next here actually we have a secure key what is a secure key secure key is very very simple so what all information will saves in a cookie 
so that will be very secured because it will be in encrypted form so next actually we have all about HTTP only cookie so that normally will be these cookies will be in in the websites so the website address bars will be starting from HTTP dot www dot so where will be you know, there uh, we can see the cookies normally then we'll be having same site cookie so same site cookie it's a very simple so when you are using any cookies so that will be work only within the website so it won't jump from one website to another website so for example uh, when we are working in a flipkart when you're browsing in a flipkart when you uh, keep on searching for a few products so that will be saved in the cookies so once you will log out from flipkart and when you're using any other like a facebook or any other social media so there you can see the same product uh, which you have seen in a flipkart same product will be popping there as advertisements when you're using in a facebook so that is a different one that is called a third party cookie so same side cookie is a cookie that will be utilized only in a one website so here actually we have a third party so here uh, we can call this 30 third party cookie is also called as a tracking cookie or targeting cookie so this is like that what is that so what we have browsed in a flipkart so same thing even we can see in a social media it may be a facebook so same thing it will be appearing there for marketing for promotion for more sales that is a third party cookie it won't leave you till you go there then we will be having a super cookie what is a super cookie super cookie and zombie cookie is a cookie is one, oh sorry is, is one of the type of cookie so it will be used or we can't delete from the web browsers so it will be stay at least for 30 days so we ca you you even you, ca you if you remove the cookies from the history in a web browser so but the zombie cookies won't get deleted but it will be stay at least a minimum for 30 days there so automatically we will be browsing uh, some other things daily so automatically after 30 histories or uh, 30 cookies so what it can store so later automatically it will get deleted to so till that it will be saved in your web servers sorry web servers and also web browsers you can't delete that so that is a zombie cookie uh, when come to a structure it consists uh, like a component free components what is that we'll be having a name of values uh, zero or more attributes for example domain any flags so etc etc everything will be saved uh, each cookies is effectively a small lookup table containing a base of key or data values from example uh, first name and last name so once the cookie has been read by the code on the server or client computer the data can be retrieved and used to customize the web page appropriately So these are the uh, different web browsers, web browsers that uh, everyone will be using. So here, uh, most of all the web browsers will be sharing cookies for everyone when you are browsing. So actually, here we have a few users. Uh, one is session management. That's what we said. Uh, session cookies. What we were uh, we were what we were discussing there. So types first type session cookies. So same thing even here. What is that? when we are doing any uh, activities or any web browsing in a web servers so that can be maintained automatically so that's what i'm saying so when first time we are logging to any social media or any websites so first time it will ask your username and passwords so but uh, when you're logging into the same website for second and third time it won't ask you to enter your user ids because automatically it will be saved so you need to enter only the passwords so that is a session management and uh, till uh, you log out from a web browsers so what and all you can do so the automatically it will be working and it will be helping for you for the fast browsing and also for easy browsings there is a session management then we'll be having a personalization so what is this personalization it's a very simple it helps you to find out easy way of doing work very simple for example when you are D when are you using any e-commerce applications like Flipkart or Amazons? So when you're searching for a product called watches or wrist watches, so for example, if you have clicked like a Casio wrist watches that you require, 
so once you click that what happens automatically it will ask i mean there will be a filter so even you can choose filters even though without choosing a filter when you search for that one thing so at that same time it, it will be showing almost uh, different different products in from the same uh, company uh, different color different things so all the products what they have everything will be shown so but when you choose one particular product when you click on that again it will be matching with you are the same product so what you are choosed so same product kind of other products it will it may be a same cost it may be same future everything will be shown at the end so that is a cookies actually so that's because of cookies so flip cards will be working based upon your personalization how you have changed it may be your settings or it may be your interest how you are showing based upon that this cookie cookies will helps business people to make more promoting or give ads then we'll be having a tracking so till now we have uh, speaking about two things so whatever you will do in a web browsers or web servers everything will be recorded everything will be tracked so of tracking all the information will be stored in a cookies there is a main advantage that we have actually it is it is a main advantage for the business but i know about customers so that's what i said Bo it has both positive and negative so you can see here uh, we have a picture here so the person who is working there so everything will be tracking and here we have a session and also personalization options so this is how it works uh, then uh, actually we have a few specifications uh, to require that in the browsers to support cookies so now uh, uh, it can support uh, cookies as large as 496 bytes in size and it can support at least 50 cookies per domain per domain almost it can say 50 cookies it can create and then uh, can support at least 3000 cookies in total that is a very important one that we should mind and here we have so how we can track uh, by using cookies so same way actually even we have alternative that's not only a cookies that we have to track or to save all the files uh, personal or it can be any data and passwords or it can be any, anything so we have alternative also so we can see here here we have a JAWS and web tokens HTTP authentication IP address URL browsers catch e tag so even these are the points so where all the data will be saved other than the cookies so even these points will be saving all your data what you're doing in a web servers or web browsers, web browsers what you are doing in the internet everything will be saved so here you can see this uh, here we have verify human verify device verify browser fingerprint device so this can will be automatically it will be doing when all the data your personal data will be saved in these things so this is how actually we'll be having it. we'll see practically and uh, how we'll be working so which i was saying uh, before in five minutes back uh, so for example uh, when i am using amazon here uh, actually i'm using amazon applications here here i'm interested in the mobiles uh, purchasing so if i'll be using the same application and if i will be searching for same kind of mobiles continuously so what happens my personal or what is my interest on products and services will be saved in a cookies automatically so it will be shared like what is that oh this person is searching for mobiles from long time so i think this guy is required mobiles so it will be like that so what happens so it helps business person to make a sale of these mobiles to me so that's it so that's how it works actually so what happens so after working here so if i go to a normal search if i click here i need a mobile i need i need a mobile mobile phone i need a mobile phone so okay you can see here you can see here uh, here when I have searched in a Amazon I was searching actually for Samsung mobile so here here we have but when I go to a Google directly so here I have given only I need a mobile phone that's it but 
without asking what kind of mobiles are required so directly it is showing a uh, samsung mobiles so this is a cookies so even without asking or without searching from my side so automatically what i have done previously so what i have browsed based upon that automatically it will come and it will be popping up here so this is how actually cookies will work for the business persons to make a more sales and more marketing so this is one of the kind this is one of the examples and like so even uh, you can see that uh, web store actually we have so even here you can see that uh, we have many applications so even here when you're searching for a few applications so based upon your interest again after log after going out from this website if you visit any different websites the even there again the same kind of applications what we, we are seeing here same thing will pop up there as an advertisement or for, as a promotions that's because of my interest that will be saved in the cookies that is the one thing so this is how cookies will be working every time in all the browsers in all the computers even in the mobiles so now uh, this is one thing concept we have then uh, you can see that where these cookies will be located or saved yes of course that we can see so now here you can see here uh, here we have a three uh, dots if you click on that here we'll be having a settings so please click on settings if you click on settings at the down here we'll be having a uh, privacy and security so there we have option called site settings so once you click on site settings you will be having your option called cookies and site data so again click there so you can find so here we have a uh, most of the options so here we have one more option called see all cookies and site data so you can see here so when you click on this one so here we have uh, many things what you have done see uh, or raising amazon associate uh, context web with which Cassandra media so that's what actually we a uh, few minutes back which we visited which we used so everything will be saved here see here uh, facebook flipkart google.com mail.com uh, openx mookie twitter.com amazon.com flipkart google see here so what and all I, I have done here in this web browser everything automatically has saved see here if you see this amazon dot in here here it is showing like a seven cookies that mean when I while I using Amazon website there what I have done so from there seven information they have saved here I mean my personal in information or it may be my interest what I was searching so that it has saved here in Amazon or in seven cookies so this is how these cookies will be working so if you think this is a, a positive then definitely you can use this if you think from this you may get a few bad or if you feel this is a very negative so then it's a very simple uh, you can use as a security control you can use security control so first thing first thing you can save from your personal data so that can be done so after using browsings or using websites please s uh, came to the come to the same window and here will be having all cookies inside here will be having the option called remove all so once you click on remove all it will ask for clear all so if you get clear all what happens so all the data will be deleted automatically okay there is the one thing actually we have and one more thing we have so again here will be having one more thing option clear cookies and site data when you quit chrome if you give yes what happens so once you log out from or once you, once you go out from this web browsers so automatically your cookies and also history both will get deleted automatically even there's a best, best option that we'll be having so other than that actually here we have even more settings that you can learn other than that uh, we have one more thing so if you click on these three dots again so here we'll be having one option called new incognito window so what happens actually when you're using incognito window so here they have given what is that chrome won't save the following information what is that your browsing history cookies and site data information entered in fro forms it's very simple when you're using normal google what happens everything will be saved in cookies but when you use this incognito tab what happens so what you will do it may be your history or it may be cookies nothing will be saved anywhere it's a very very safe window that is available 
in all the web browsers that is incognito so uh, this is what we have about cookies hi that's it about the videos of cookies so i think you liked it if you like please subscribe and share thank you very much